Dear viewers, this is Mr. G. B. Suar. My best of the greetings. Upschooling presents you its sixth travel blog to Sri Baraha Lakshmi Narasimha Temple this time atop Simha Chalam Hill Range in Bishakapatnam. Dear friends, now I am in Digha Bishaka Superfast Express. Since this uh, Friday midnight, I am in completing nine hours journey. And today is the last Saturday of February. Uh, five more minutes to get down at Bishakapatnam railway station. Dear friends, Bishakapatnam, formerly known as Vaijakapatnam, between the Eastern Ghats and the uh, coast of Bay of Bengal, it is the largest and the most populous city and proposed administrative capital in the state of uh, Andhra Pradesh in the southeastern coastal region of India. Bishakapatnam, dear friends, is well connected from major Indian cities via all modes of transport. Now, it's a half past seven in the morning. Today, we'll take you to Sri Baraha Lakshmi Narasimha Temple atop Simanchalam Hill Range, which is 300 meters above the sea level in Bishakapatnam. Dear friend, Simanchalam is one of the 32 Narasimha temples in Andhra Pradesh, which are uh, important pilgrimage centers. It's not too far from the railway station, dear friends, only 15, uh, 15 kilometers away from the railway station. Uh, friends, I would like to uh, break my 10 hours fasting in the train and now I want to have uh, South Indian dosa or idli. Uh, nearby we should have motels uh, serving dosa and idli. Oh yeah, there is one. Dear friends, uh, dosa, as you see, is a thin pancake you see. Uh, originally South Indian, made from a fermented uh, batter, predominantly consisting of lentil and uh, rice. It's somewhat similar to crepe in appearance. Of course, masala dosa, raba dosa, ghee roast dosa, cheese dosa and neer dosa. And many more types are available that I have tasted. So a masala dosa please, 20 Indian rupees dear friends, stomach full. Yeah, it's time now, will access to Andhra Pradesh state uh, RTC bus services and reach Shiman Chalam very soon. So let me check. Uh, 6A by H bus uh, goes to Shiman Chalam from railway station. So there I am. Uh, friends, it takes around 30 minutes or so to reach there. But friends, I have got some personal work at the Apollo Hospital. Don't mind. I plan to reach Shiman Chalam in the afternoon hours today only. Uh, dear friends, when I was 15, I dreamt of living in a big city like this. It's a kind of beautiful to sit inside uh, a city bus and uh, uh, see a city from the windows. But look at the traffic. The pressure of survival will make you lose uh, sight of a dream. My friends, a great city should not be confounded with a populous one. As you see, there is a heavy crowd. So I think Bishakapatnam has so much natural beauty in addition to its crowd. It's a populous city. It's a beautiful city, of course. So last time we also visited a train to Vaisak. And uh, we have uh, given uh, 
uh, a very interesting, uh, given with a very interesting time. So here comes Apollo Hospital. Uh, Arilova is the place on uh, China Gadila. So this hospital, dear friends, is on the way to Simanchalam. Simanchalam is five to seven kilometers from here. So let me, uh, I plan to meet and consult with Dr. Anand Kumar, uh, the famous neurosurgeon. Yeah, I'm going inside. Oh, oh. so coming out from Apollo is something like coming out from an alien planet. So what I feel, the power of community to create health uh, is far greater than any physician, any clinic or any hospital. Okay? So look, uh, well-maintained campus so we see here, uh, um, grass beds, white flowers, uh, standing alone, uh, coconut trees, uh, that side a guarding hill, beautiful, simply beautiful. Uh, dear, dear friends, a brief meeting with the doctor is always good, you know. Uh, we are uh, done with our lunch in the hospital canteen. Uh, it was a very easy to, uh, very easy to digest menu. It was in the canteen. So we'll sit here in the garden for some time and uh, then catch our uh, passenger bus for today's Sinusar. Sri Barahalakshmi Temple on Simanchalam. So we are on the bus station. So has the com, has the, uh, yes, we can see uh, bikers. So has the bus come yet? If the bus came, uh, would I be standing here? There is no ice cream parlor, no lollipop stall. Still, we have to wait and enjoy tall and lofty buildings there. So, here comes the city bus. Dear friends, let's get in. Dear viewers, what I have learned, Simanchalam Temple has an inscription uh, that belongs to the era of uh, Chola King uh, Kulathunga, a thousand-year-old temple. Uh, dear friends, uh, a temple, you know, Often it is called Mandir in India. It's a symbolic house. Anybody of uh, uh, or a seat of uh, divinity deploying circles and squares for Hindu way of life. Uh, uh, I visited Varalakshmi Narasimha Swami temple last year as well. I found uh, uh, structures over there truly designed to bring human beings and Lord Sri Lakshmi Narayan together. It also, um, when, you de when uh, we are there today, we'll see that how it represents recursion and the representation of the equivalence of the macrocosm and the microcosm by astronomical numbers and by specific alignments related to the geography of the place and the presumed uh, linkages of the deity and the pattern we'll see there uh, I had been that's uh, I can um, um, I can reflect back and see so according to the monks it is one of the primordial energy centers of the universe dear friends uh, today's visit shall definitely uh, incorporate all elements of the cosmos Presenting the good, the evil, the human, as well as the elements of the Hindu sense of uh, cyclic time and the essence of life. You can see uh, the nature outside the bus uh, windows. Uh, symbolically, uh, this essence of life, you see, friends, uh, the presenting the dharma, kama, artha, moksha, and karma. So here, here we are. On the foot of Simanchalam uh, range, uh, yes, uh, dear friends, we are inquiring about the conveyance. Uh, the service assistant uh, is answering us. Look, he is answering us in a mixed uh, Telugu and Hindi. Uh, difficult to understand, of course, he is saying that 
By the way, you are not going to climb the mountain. You keep putting one foot in the bus for uh, 15 uh, Indian rupees only. And uh, that is the cost of the ticket. And after uh, Pau Ghanta, he is saying, uh, I mean uh, 15 minutes. Yes, F uh, within 15 minutes, look back and uh, you have climbed the mountain. So thank you, dear. Your starts our passenger bus. It is not the destination, dear friends. The climbing, that is sitting in the bus is the real happiness for me. Uh, all its uh, moments of revelation, heartbreak and fatigue, that has to be my goal now. So we can't uh, climb it and uh, cross to the other side of the hill. Uh, we can go around it and uh, reach 300 meters above the sea level, the temple. We are almost to the mountains. Wrong till then and right now, the sun is bright, the air is cool, uh, and my head is clear. There is a whole afternoon ahead of us, dear friends. Uh, it is a good day to be alive. Uh, it's this uh, thinner air that does it. When uh, we are in the bus, the passenger bus, we can have the spell of uh, this uh, mountain view in front of us. You always feel like this uh, when you start getting into higher altitudes. Friends, you know, my attitude, not my aptitude, will determine my altitude. When we are on a level plane, simple mounds look like hills. But now, the grave homing of the bus, listen, and the mountain path looks more like a plane without being afraid of uh, everyone with me, small or big. Uh, my co-passengers, dear friends, in this higher altitude look like as if uh, they are drunk. Don't panic. You don't really need a summit shoot. It's only 15 minutes ride. Behold and see the bounty of sight and sound. Uh, dear friends, uh, Simha Chalam, we are going to have the darshan of Sri Baraha Lakshmi Nursinga Swami. What I recollect, uh, Simha Chalam tells us uh, the well known story of the demon king you are very familiar with, Hiranyakashyapa and his son Prahlada. Hiranyakashipu and Hiranyaksha, uh, who are brothers and uh, mighty demon lords bent upon uh, disturbing the peace of the world. We have read the story like this. Hiranyaksha seized the earth and carried it uh, to neither regions. Lord Vishnu killed him and uh, delivered the earth from the clutches of the demon by assuming the boar incarnation. One of the Dasa Avataras of uh, Sri Vishnu, uh, Baraha Avatara. And uh, the other side, Hiranyakashipu wanted to avenge the death of his brother Hiranaksha. This is the story. And uh, he propitiated Lord Brahma and was uh, granted with a boon so that he could not be killed by either animal or a man, neither in the morning nor in the night by any weapons, neither in sky nor on the earth. That was the boon granted to him. Uh, so, being granted, he then began to uh, punish the gods and sages, the devotees of Lord Vishnu, son of uh, uh, Hiranyakashipu named Prahlada, became a devotee of Vishnu even from his birth, you know, and thus uh, brought upon himself the wrath of his father. Hiranyakashipu's servants, uh, chose to drop uh, Prahlada, the little devotee of Sri Vishnu, in the sea near uh, the Mount Simatri, with a view to place the mountain over him. But before they could uh, complete their act, Lord Narayana rescued him by jumping uh, over the hill and lifting up Prahlada from the sea. Simatri is thus the place where the Lord rescued Prahlada, and we are uh, about to reach. Yes. Here we are, uh, we have to alight from the bus now. We see devotees flood around to have a darshan. There are uh, darshans of two kind here. 
one is in the queue if you are going in uh, on the queue then you will have the darshan free of cost or else you have uh, uh, tickets uh, 300 100 kind of things so sri baraha lakshmi narsimha swami um, namo narayana friends the temple shall be open again at half past three now it's half past two i think yes now to our right uh, we find a mat uh, sri sri moha gayatri pitham let's enter and see camera is not allowed yes need not worry dear friends the goddess gayatri is also known as savitri and veda uh, mata mother of vedas uh, so uh, we saw gayatri mata wonderful uh, uh, darshan the deity has five faces and each face represents one veda you, uh, you can have the full view of uh, sri baraha lakshmi narsimha swami temple from here also uh, great what is there a bull a big bull why a bull is here where is it from let's see dear friends this man the guardian of this uh, bull uh, stating uh, in uh, uh, telugu yes uh, he has a, uh, he has some knowledge about hindi as well stating that he is from kulad uh, pitham in andhra pradesh and this bull is of 6 years old and they have brought him here uh, for worshipping purpose it is dedicated to sri krishna bhagavan is saying is also saying that uh, uh, this bull uh, represents krishna himself the basal leaf uh, tulsi is offered to this bull look at this little boy the little boy here wants to dance he is doing ganapati bandana in the glory of uh, uh, ganapati bhagavan um, the um, uh, younger son of uh, um, uh, lord shiva ganapati bhagavan and then uh, sings for uh, sri krishna wonderful it's a very good uh, vaishnavite culture and uh, now let's uh, move uh, wow it's a wonderful uh, scene of the temple uh, namo narayana the place has a pleasant uh, climate this point is uh, uttar andhra dear friends uh, i mean north andhra look at the entry gate on paralleled and on comparable temple of its kind we see architecturally the temple is superb the entry gate uh, dear friends the temple opens to the waist very scientific of course uh, look there if you have little idea of temple culture this architecture is truly a blend of uh, kakatheya chalukya and uh, ganga styles both uh, both north and uh, south styles of architecture and dear friends let's meet an ardent devotee sri sovanath acharalu and know more about the temple he is stating in odia of course uh, in an inflated accent uh, is saying that the form of baraha uh, nars uh, baraha narsimha means uh, two avatars dwe avatar was assumed by him here on the prayer of his devotee prahlad we have referred to uh, who prahlad who wanted to see both the incarnations of the lord one baraha the other one is narasimha the one by which he had already killed uh, hiranaksha and the other by which he would uh, 
किल हिरण्य कश्यप ही स्टेटिंग दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू स्थल पुराण प्रहलाद वॉज द फर्स्ट पर्सन टू कंस्ट्रक्ट ए टेम्पल राउंड द डेट ही अकम्प्लिस्ड दिस आफ्टर इज फादर्स डेथ एट द हैंड्स ऑफ नरसिंह बट एट द एंड ऑफ दैट लाइफ साइकिल कृत युग और सत्य युग द टेम्पल वॉज नेग्लेक्टेड एंड बिगेन टू डिके even the deity was not taken care of the crests of the uh, crests of earth slowly gathered around the image uh, but the beginning of another life cycle uh, the lord once again was discovered by emperor uh, purarba and uh, purarba was the king emperor of the luna dynasty purarba with his spouse urvasi riding on an aerial chariot over the hills of the south was drawn to simhachalam by a mysterious power then uh, he was addressed by the akashvani not to expose the imo- image but cover it with sandal paste dear friends he is also adding that uh, the lord should be worshiped in this form and uh, only once in a year the deity is kept covered with a horrible preparation of uh, sandal paste so from the internet i have taken this photograph and pasted it here look once a year on uh, uh, akshay tritya day the third day of uh, uh, vaishakha masa april may this sandal paste is removed in a ceremony at the festival called uh, uh, chandan yatra chandan utsavam and the mool swarup the actual form of swami vari Uh, varaha is revealed to the devotees great great uh, look at the original the actual form it is the most uh, uh, important festival in this temple all other days the deity is covered with sandalwood paste which is equal to the mud uh, the purarba uh, had removed or shifted the deity by that time and built the temple once again around the image the temple we see now uh, continued to flourish ever since uh, dear friends we are going to the south side of the main temple uh, the uh, acharyalu swami has referred about ganga dhara on the way you find uh, this is the ratham the car of the deity used during important occasions marvelous architecture of this uh, car yes here you can have uh, the taste of uh, dahi lassi available here let's take the taste good ginger chili flavored uh, 10 indian rupees only per glass good for health no doubt the pleasant fragrance that comes uh, uh, are from the florists nearby what are these flowers we are encaring uh, they are saying that it is punna pugada and especially the champaka genda and the holy basil or tulsi all favorites of sri vishnu bhagwan dear friends uh, we see there is a ross this side of the complex temple complex what is there this is uh, uh kesha kandana shala complete head shaving dear friends in india it is auspicious to go for uh, mundan uh, kesha kandan or complete uh, uh, head shaving the, they charge 25 indian rupees uh, per head irrespective of uh, male and female uh, this is the inside of uh, the kesha kandana shala uh, little boys girls respective of uh, uh, male and female all have the wish to set up their hair style here then they do a worship of the deity uh, here we are at ganga dhara a perennial natural spring water coming from the hills and the horrible roots and the pilgrims are uh, taking 
but with a good faith to forego their sins for curing diseases and to fulfill their wishes. Uh, the water flows through Rudra Vum. Uh, Rudra Stanam. These yellow steps leading to uh, the Smashana or the Rudra Vum they are stating. Uh, dear friend, Smashana is a Hindu crematory ground uh, where dead bodies are brought to be burnt on a pyre. It is usually located near a river, a body of water on the outskirts of village or town, we know. Uh, gates are closed now, otherwise you would have taken you there. Uh, to our left, Sri uh, Sitarama Swami Vari Temple. Sitarama. Uh, and to our right, Sri Kasi Vishweshara Swami, we show the natural Shiva Lingam here and devotees perform daily puja of uh, uh, Shiva worshipping. Let's meet the priest. He wants us to uh, do puja at Sri Kasi Vishweshara Swami. Rudra Vishek, dear friends, Shukla Jajur Veda uh, has referred uh, uh, almost 16 li lines in the glory of uh, uh, Shiva Rudra Bhagavan. Uh, the cantos goes like this Om Namah Bhagavate Rudraya, Om Namaste Rudra Manneva, Utate Ishabe Namaha. Bahu Bhammutate Namaha. Yeah. So we did puja. So, okay. dear friends, you are on this platform, Lord Ganapati, Ayappa Bhagavan, Lord Kartikeshwara, and Lord Shani Deva is being worshipped also. Now, let's move. There we see a gathering. What is that? Let's check. People with a fireball soaked in ghee, consecrated milk. What are they doing? They are singing the same, yeah, the same bull here that uh, we met uh, while entering. They are singing and dancing to the tune of cymbals. And perhaps it is their uh, temple culture. Namo Narayanaya. Everyone is chanting this here. Enjoy, dear friends. Now what we have come to know from the local people. Ugadhi. Uh, Telugu New Year in the month of March, April, during Chaitra Masha, the deity celebrates himself as a bridegroom. Nursimha uh, Jayanti in the month of uh, Vaishaka, April, May. Another significant day is uh, Radhostavam, uh, held before Swami going to marriage. It's also celebrated here. Kalyanotsavam, Chandanotsavam. Uh, Vaishaka, Pournami are important auspicious occasions in an annual calendar of this temple. Uh, dear friends, uh, now we'll have a darshan. Videos and photographs are strictly prohibited inside the sanctum. So we will uh, deposit. We'll go for a darshan now. We'll enter into the temple. Uh, through this southwest gate, this is the southwest gate. Yes, so now we are out, uh, out from the temple. Uh, look, uh, we entered the temple through this, uh, uh, through that southwest gate, and now we are at the exit north gate uh, of the temple. Namo Narayanaya. Uh, what we see that it contains a square shrine surmounted by a high, uh, uh, high tower, a portico in front of, uh, uh, with a smaller tower above it, a square 16 pillared uh, mandapam, uh, called the Mukha Mandapam, facing this, uh, and an enclosing veranda we saw, all made of dark granite, richly and delicately carved with conventional and floral ornament and scenes from the Vaishnavite Puranas. 
some of the carvings we saw are mutilated of course now uh, one of the pillars they told it was the kapas thambam or uh, that the tribute pillar to the right side of sri baraha lakshmi narasimha swami inside the temple uh, people believed that that the kapas thambam has great powers of curing diseases and granting children they said uh, that kapas thamba um, stambam has an inbuilt uh, santana gopala yantram inside uh, which is believed to be empowered to fulfill the wishes of devotees it is believed that childless couples will get children by embracing the uh, pillar uh, in the temple in the baranda we saw a stone car with stone wheels and uh, uh, prancing stone horses outside this inner uh, enclosure there we saw the excellent uh, natya mandapam on the north side of the temple uh, you can uh, have the view from over here uh, where the god's marriage is form performed uh, this is supported by 96 delicately carved pillars of black stone arranged in 16 rows of sixes in a lotus shape wonderful uh, temple architecture now this is narasimha uh, udyan or the forest or the plantation preserved in the name of uh, narasimha let's go for prasadam uh, there is uh, uh, we see uh, people are taking or uh, um, prasadam in a queue we have uh, we also have uh, laddu prasad namo narayana let's go ahead pigeons i don't understand why people would uh, want to get rid of pigeons they are harmless they know pigeons are among the very few birds uh, that can suck water uh, while their head is down like human beings friends uh, we see gopuja mandap to our right now cows Uh, it could be a sacred cow, a holy cow, no. a cast cow, a farmyard cow, or a village cow. I love, I love them. I love them. Look how the cow. Uh, she wants to talk to you. Beautiful, dear friends. Uh, they are the gentlest of uh, breathing creatures. Home is where cows are. Do you have cows? We have twenty-five, uh, five cows in our village. Uh, cows are all time favorites of sri krishna you know now this is off time uh, look uh, just back side of the may i help you center uh, we see the psc building which has a dormitory and locker facility uh, for the use of pilgrims that is free of cost and over there uh, there of hill near the telephone tower you see Now uh, the recently renovated uh, Gajapati uh, uh, Satram, which is uh, consisting of uh, 48 rooms for the use of pilgrims on payment of nominal rent. Uh, last time uh, we halted there. The seat building is located in a calm uh, and peaceful area, and from there the view of the temple can be seen clearly. Uh, Prahla, the yoga and the neuropathy hospital. is also another facility dear friends for the pilgrims available uh, i think it's time we must say goodbye let's catch our bus uh, to downhill bus station namo narayana and uh, while downhill uh, we'll enjoy the sunset